Hey everyone, it's Shine Sprite Ditto, welcoming you back for more Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last part, we started to tackle more side quests, and we made our way to Kakariko Village. Just when we thought we were back, eh, just when we thought we were getting to do more story, we ended up doing more side quests in Kakariko Village. And now in this part, we're gonna go do even more side quests in Kakariko Village. I do want to show off a few more things in the village before we make our way to Death Mountain, but I promise we will begin making story progress in this part. I, I promise, I promise. I just, I like to do everything, man. I like to, I like to see it all. Let's see, is there anything that we can climb on this building via the top part of the village? And if we climb, 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 because I see a guy over there and I want to know what he has to say. Oh, I see some beautiful butterflies. Um, I'm trying to lock on to him perfectly, but I could. Ah, it's so finicky. There we go. I can't get down, so all I can do is look at Death Mountain. It's beautiful. Uh, this guy does have something for us. We cannot grab it until later in the game. There is a way for you to grab it right now, but that requires a bit of sequence breaking and just doing stuff in an unnatural way to get something early. And you can tell by his dialogue for you that it isn't something we're supposed to have right now. In a normal playthrough, I would just go ahead and grab it, but I don't really kind of want to give away some things about the game. So I'm just going to wait until it's a lot more natural for us to get it. There's also a way to do that with the heart piece that was in the in uh, Impa's house. Where we could go ahead and get that right... Shut up, Anju! Uh, we could go ahead and get that heart piece. But uh, we would have to sort of... Not really sequence break, but do things in a little bit of an arbitrary way. To where it doesn't feel as natural as getting it later in the game where it feels more intended and question mark what is this place hello go around go around and around and around and around and around and around and around what fun i'm so happy i'm a music man music man who loves to go around and around and around go around and around and around and around and around and around and around I'm trying to come up with a musical theme inspired by this windmill, going around and around and around and around. A musical theme, huh? Well, looks like we're supposed to play a song here, but I mean, Epona song, Zelda's Lullaby, Saria song. I don't really know a song that would fit with the tune of this windmill. But, ooh, a heart piece, and yet another one that we can't do anything about. And there's an area up there. So that's pretty interesting, but there's no way that we can really get up there. We're not tall enough. Um, this song that plays in the windmill, I won't spoil its name because it's a song we're going to learn later in the game. But this is like a fan favorite. Every Zelda fan is obsessed with this song, including myself. It's... He just sneezed! Anyways, uh, the song that plays in the windmill is a fan favorite, including mine. It's one of my favorites, and it's my favorite ocarina song that we learned in the game. Uh, it, it, it's it's a really good tune. But I guess that's all the stuff I wanted to show in Kakariko Village. But there's this back area here. Kakariko Village Graveyard. Uh, I am going to show that off. But for those of you who are progressing the story, you might want to wait a minute. We're going to go to the graveyard. But before we do, I'm going to counteract a tidbit. Tidbit. That is such a weird... I... Anyways. Let's go speak to the guard. Hello? The road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? Eh? Oh, I see. You're just a kid. <laughs> and you can't read yet, loser! <laughs> But, of course, even though they're not going to take us seriously, we have Zelda's autograph, you jelly. Oh, this is... This is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. We're, we're okay. This is Link. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. 
What kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, alright. You can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Hero... If you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you. They should give you a special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. Now I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I just gave you. I'm just asking... Have you been to the Happy Mask Shop that just opened in the Hyrule Castle Town Market? Everyone is talking about it. My little boy pref prefer My little boy <laughs> I passed the control stick and that just auto-scrolled the text. He passes him about it, but he works all day. So you could go and get the mask for me next time you're in the market. If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but... Well, I have no choice. This is my job. <sighs> Yes, this guard will never, ever, ever leave his post, because the N64 is not capable of that. So he wants us to go get a mask for his son. Uh, this begins a very long side quest. Uh, again, we have the gate open, but I'm not going to go up there right away. I just wanted to have this interaction with the guard. Uh, and the reason for that is something I'm going to show you in the graveyard. Uh, but the mask side quest is something we're going to be doing, and there's a really cool reward for doing it. But basically, he's going to want a mask. We'll go back, uh, give the man who owns the mask shop the money that he gave that he gives us. Uh, and then there'll be another mask for us to rent. And there'll just be a bunch of people in Hyrule that want different masks. But the thing is, is that this is something that we're not going to be able to fully complete. And instead, I'm just going to save it for when we actually have access to the whole entire side quest. Because for now, it's just a waste of time. But he mentioned that because... Death Mountain is an active volcano, we might not want to bring our wooden shield. The Hylian shield is available at Hyrule Castle Town Market. However, if we go there, the shield will be, I think it's 80 rupees, but he'll give you a discount and it becomes like, I don't know, way cheaper. I just never do this. And the reason for that is because we can actually get an even bigger discount. Nothing at all. And you'll, uh, you'll see what I mean by that. The graveyard. Heart pounding grave digging tour from six o'clock to nine o'clock. Hyrule time, Dompe the Gravekeeper. All right, so we got some patches of grass here. We're gonna cut all of them because we are gonna need some rupees for once in the game. Yeah, for once we'll actually have to spend money on something. Yeah, I thought that for a while when I first played that you would have to go spend money on the shield, but nope, we're gonna be able to get it for free. Hello. Little kids can't go on the how, on the how. Little kids can't go on the heart pounding grave digging tour described on the sign. Since I can't do that, I'm just imitating Dompe the Gravekeeper all day. But with my cute face, I'm not heart pounding at all, am I? Well, maybe we can make you more scary, kid. Be quiet! It's only 7:14. I, Dompe the Gravekeeper, am in bed now. Go away and play. Maybe you can find a ghost in the daytime? I said that really weird. But, okay, yeah, we don't need to talk to you a third time. The second time, I cannot count, apparently. But, we can mess around up here. And, the crest of the royal family of Hyrule is inscribed here. Royal family's tomb. Royal Composer Brothers, Flat, the younger brother. Rest in peace. Hello. We can have one of these enemies appear. Normally these would be Poe's, but this is a specific Poe. This is the Composer Flat. Uh, he, since he's a member of the royal family, a composer, he actually has his own sprite instead of just a normal Poe that you would normally get for pulling on graves uh, in the graveyard. And I'll be sure to show off a normal Poe, but let's see if we can just... Kill him real fast. I don't want him. I don't want him bothering me. 
these guys, you do have to wait for them to appear, and then you can just slice away. Come on, I think one more time, 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 one more time. Yeah! Yeah! You killed me! Unbelievable. Oh, what? You're not one of Ganondorf's men, are you? Because of my role as a ghost, I had to act like that. I apologize. Now then, let me introduce myself. Ahem. I am one of the ghostly composer brothers of Kakariko Village. All the people in this village are born to serve the royal family of Hyrule. We brothers also served the royal family, and we were assigned to study the hereditary mystic powers of the family. Though we never could figure out the power of the Triforce. We had almost completed our study of controlling time with the tunes of ocarinas. Uh, I mean, actually, we did complete that study. We would have been famous if that hateful Ganondorf had not tried to steal our results. We could never let him reap the fruits of our research. That's why we gave our lives to protect the secret. Do you want to hear what I said again? Yeah. So it turns out that these guys were able to figure out how to control time using the ocarinas, but Ganondorf wanted the secrets and decided to take their lives because of their research. We're all Composer Brothers, Sharp the Elder. So we have Flat and Sharp, very wonderful names for composers. And she just gives another Poe reading, which is weird that Flat and Sharp don't have their own individual readings from Navi. And ooh, I got two hits in, all right. Come on, 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 since you may have some connection with the royal family, I will tell you a little more of our tale. Back then, people called us great composers because of the many musical masterpieces we wrote. But we brothers were not just composers. We had a mission to analyze the mysterious powers of Hyrule's royal family. Our names would be part of Hyrule's history if we could complete our research. We kept our study extremely secret until we completed it. To tell the truth, each of us was studying a different song, one to summon the sun, and another to summon the moon. If you were really sent by the royal member by a member of the royal family, I will tell you about the results of our study. We inscribed it on the royal tombstone. As a messenger of the royal family, you should show your royal credentials on top of the Triforce mark. Do you want to hear what I said again? No, I think we get the gist of it. All right, that's some pretty interesting stuff. And yeah, there's a song for us to play here. Let's show that we do, in fact, know the royal family. And just like that, we are given permission to grave rob! The royal family's tomb. And we have a new enemy here. These bat-like enemies, which I'm honestly really surprised we haven't seen yet. These are called keys. Uh, they're just ge kind of like generic bat enemies. They will just fly around you. Um, you can use your sword if they get close, but obviously the best way to attack them is to target onto them and just shoot them from a distance because when you target, you have really accurate aiming. And my god, dude, we are just walking all over these dead bodies. You know, it's kind of disrespectful that these are literal dead people. Like, this is a grave of the royal family. There are skulls. There are human bones. Human remains. And not only are we walking across it, but they're not buried neatly at all. They are just thrown in here. 
But, uh, ugh, let's just continue forward. Try to ignore that thought. And... These enemies are terrifying. I want to show you what they do, but we are way too weak to take them on. It's better to just run through the poison toxic sludge there and take damage than to get close to one of those enemies. They will destroy you. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set, and newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the composer brothers. Keep the sun song in your heart. Right down up, right down up. You've learned the sun song. Restless souls wander where they don't belong. Bring them calm with the sun song. Alright, so the sun song is probably going to be our most played song throughout the entire game. It is very useful. These enemies, these are zombies. They're not called zombies, but they're called re-deads. But they're pretty much the living dead. If you get near them, they will shriek horrifyingly. They will paralyze you. They will walk up to you slowly. They will wrap their bodies around you. And then they will feast on you and drain your health. If you let one, I think they can kill us with as weak as we are now in just one go. So we're going to play the sun song that we just learned. And it'll paralyze them, meaning that we can safely run through. Uh, however, it's only temporal. So if you attack them at all, or if you just wait too long, they will be back to normal again and they will attack you. But this is a nice way to get the advantage when you're attacking them. So let's head out of here. And we see the true power of the Sun Song, because Ocarina of Time is such a dark game. Yes, the game is just naturally this dark when it's raining in this area. I mean, it's so dark that even I can barely see on my TV. But the power of the Sun Song can turn it from day to night and night to day. So you no longer have to worry about going out into Hyrule Field and waiting around for the time to change. Hey, kid! Don't mess around with the graves! I'm Dompe, the Gravekeeper. My face may be scary, but I'm not a bad guy. Let me give you an advertisement for my side business. Dompe the Gravekeeper's heart-pounding grave-digging tour. What's gonna come out? What's gonna come out? When I start digging, we'll find out! Don't mean to dig your 10 rupees for one hole. No, we're not gonna do that. Instead, it's really hard to see, but there are patches of dirt on the ground. This is made a lot brighter on the 3DS, because of course it is. But instead, we're going to wait, and Dompe walks really, really slow until we have the dirt here. This sucks. You can get a bunch of different prizes, but you want to try to get Dompe to be as close to the center as possible, and then you're going to want him to dig. He will stop walking whenever you go to talk to him. ALREADY?! ON THE FIRST ONE?! Never happens! But yeah, if we participate in the grave digging tour, we can get a piece of heart! Um, alright. Uh, there are sp spots of dirt all throughout the graveyard, and uh, one of them will have a piece of heart. You can get different stuff from green rupees, red rupees, blue rupees, uh, a variety of rupees all at once, and of course, the heart piece. Um, it changes location each time you come into the graveyard. Uh, and each time you play the game, of course, it's going to be different. So it's completely random which spot of dirt it is. So this this can take just f fucking like five seconds, I guess. 
or this can take you several, several minutes. Dompe walks slow, so if you miss the patch of dirt, you have to wait for him to walk all the way back around again. Uh, and of course, like I said, you want to just try to get as close to the center as possible, because um, if he had dug like just a little bit earlier or a little bit later, I probably ended up with rupees. So even though this is the one with the heart piece, I could have easily not known that by just not being as close to the center as I possibly could. It's a little frustrating, but uh, you just got to kind of work with it. And uh, man, I, I cannot believe I got that first. That never has. As much as I've played this game, I think that's the first time that that's happened to me. I, I It normally ends up like being like right over here or something, but man, that's that's unbelievable. Uh, we can see that there is, just like in Lelmon Ranch, a gold sculpture here. Uh, but again, we have no way of grabbing it off the wall because we are just way too short. But for now, we are going to want to go to this graveyard, this graveyard, this gravestone here. Um, an interesting note is that you heard the magical jingle, but if you're playing the 3DS version, there's an indicator on which graves that you can actually pull back. Uh, because the graves here will actually have grass in front of it if you're able to pull it back and reveal a hidden grotto like this one here. And we have a re-dead. I'm going to play the sun song. I want to show you guys what it's like when you get close to them, but I'm just way too weak and I don't have a fairy to actually do something. So I'm going to paralyze it. And of course, I'm going to be try to be as normal as possible. And... I can't even see my... Oh no! Dude, these things are... <laughs> oh, no! Okay. Oh my god, I guess I do have the Lon Lon milk if I needed it, but... Oh, Reeds are so terrifying. Uh, their bodies will stay there for a while, and if there's several Reeds, they can actually walk back over and revive the other Reeds. So you definitely want the corpse to decompose as fast as possible. Oh man, the childhood trauma from those things. They are terrifying. Ugh, even even now, being 22 years old in just like a week or so, I'm still terrified of them. But if we play this hunt song a second time, we can have this chest appear, and it's a big one too. And yet another heart piece! Two in one episode, all right. I will, I will take it. And that's not all we wanna do here. There's one more thing for us to do in the graveyard. Okay, I guess it's not just a 3DS version. There's some grass here. And that's an indicator that we can pull the grave back. And, yep, sure enough, there's a grotto behind it. I don't know why I thought it was just a 3DS version. Maybe it's because I didn't see it with that gravestone. And... We got a Hylian shield! Didn't have to pay a single rupee. Uh, it's just waiting for us here in the graveyard. So you definitely want to come to the graveyard and uh, do this instead of going all the way back to Castletown and getting the Hylian shield from the bazaar and uh, wasting your rupees when you could just be not spending them for the entirety of the game. Uh, just like in the Deku Tree, there's a wall here, but we have no way of dealing with that. So we'll just have to keep that in mind and be sure to come back here when we actually have a way of dealing with that. But yeah, with getting that unbelievably quick heart piece, there's really nothing for us to do here. Um, there's a little patch of dirt, some soft soil. You see a small mound of soft soil uh, here. Yeah, there's something that we can... There's a couple different things we can do with the soft soil, actually. Uh, but because we don't have access to one of them, I'm not going to be doing it. And the other one, there's a whole bunch of soft soil patches, and I am waiting until they are all available to us for me to actually do the thing that some of you are probably waiting for me to do. But now it's Cockrico Village at nighttime. Everybody's just indoors. It's a lot more tranquil. But of course, there's going to be some stuff for us to do at nighttime. Just like in Kokiri Forest, uh, there are gold sculptures that will only appear at nighttime. And I can hear one now. Let's climb up here. Excuse me. And there we go. So we got this one. 
And there are a couple for us to get. Well, more than a couple. There's actually quite a few. And on the gold sculpture of the house, where the family is cursed, there's actually one just waiting right outside. If only they could move a little bit. They could have started breaking the curse themselves. And this tree, when entering the village... Ooh, there's somebody new underneath the tree. People are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgusting, too. Well, all right! Up yours, pal. Jeez. If we roll into this tree, another gold sculpture will fall from it. Uh, if you try to roll into it during the day, just like some green rupees or whatever will fall down. You can only get this gold sculpture at nighttime. And then, if we make our way over here, over yonder, back on the tower that we climbed a little bit earlier, the lookout tower, because this is Wind Waker all of a sudden, there is one climbing all the way up here. Now, unlike the other ones that are up high, we can just climb up the ladder and grab the token that awaits for us. So, let's go ahead and do that. And, you know, I, wow, I've actually done quite, it feels like I've done quite a bit, yet nothing at the same time. I guess I'm just, like, in a hurry to get through this game because I really love this game. Not that I'm, like, having a bad time or that uh, I'm not having fun or anything like that, but I, I just really want to show the game. I really love this game, and I love playing through all of it. So I'm just excited to get to, like, all the really cool and fun parts and do pretty much everything the game has to offer. It's really exciting. Um, so now with that taken care of, let's... Go ahead and get one more golden sculptula that awaits for us in Kakrika Village at nighttime. If we come up towards Death Mountain, we will see that on this house closest to the gate, we have yet another one for us to get. There are more that are in Kakrika Village, and especially at nighttime. However, we do not have a way of getting those yet. So. Let's see here. We now have 13 gold sculptures. That is crazy. I cannot believe how quickly we are getting them. Although I guess they do kind of come in bunches. But 13 seems to be quite a bit. So let us see if there is anything that we can do and if helped anybody out in the house of Sculptula. Let's see. And there you are. They're human again. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. And we got the adults wallet! Adults are allowed to carry a lot of money. Could have fooled me. Now you can hold up to 200 rupees. So yes, that is our first wallet upgrade. It will not be our last though. Instead of the, just the standard 99, we can now hold up to 200. So it is definitely worth, even though we don't use rupees a whole lot, it is definitely worth grabbing that wallet just so we can have more whenever the time comes and we quit maxing out our wallet super super early but uh that's about it for this part uh, i really wanted to start death mountain but we're going to be traversing through there for quite a minute so uh i guess next time on the legend of zelda ocarina of time we really will actually begin to do some story stuff all right i will see you guys then